So I actually, I usually don't wear my hair like this, but I decided to do it like Ollie. So this is how he is, very clean cut, side comb. It was the start of the pandemic and I just moved back home. I was in LA and then I was, I got a little scared because everything was shutting down. So I went home and it was probably my first tape at that time during the pandemic. Yeah, and that was like in March. And then two months later, a call back. And then there were some Zoom sessions during the summer. That was really stressful. And the final call back ever, I had like no internet connection. That yeah. was like in July. And I was like, where am I going to do this? I was like in the middle of nowhere. I had to find someone with Wi-Fi and I got it, got it done. It was very stressful, but we got it done. And then a day before my birthday uh, is when I found out I got the part. So that was really awesome. For whatever reason, I was lucky enough to not have to go through as many rounds as the others. I don't, I don't know why. I don't <laughs> pretend to know why. Uh, but I auditioned for the first time uh, in July and did a self-tape, completely forgot about it, thought that they had just moved on. I wasn't going to hear from them again. And I get a call from my agent, August 5th, 2020, I'll never forget. And she says, uh, are you still interested in doing Power Rangers? And I said, absolutely, yes, of course. And she says, well, you've got a producer session tonight. Can you make it? So I hopped on Zoom and gave it my best. And then the next thing I knew, there was a contract in my email the next morning. So that was that's how it worked out for me. I feel very lucky. <laughs> It's funny, it's been a minute now. I forgot exactly when I did the videos, but I know I did one where um, my manager had just sent me something or sent me the Power Rangers role uh, in my email. He's like, Chance, I know you don't really uh, act or do auditions, but uh, I thought you might be good for this. Why don't you give it a shot? And I was like, all right, I love Power Rangers. I'll give it a shot. Um, about a couple weeks later, they asked me to do another video. About a week after that, they asked me to meet them in Marina Del Rey. And uh, I met Chip, who was like one of the original like um, writers of the show, uh, Mighty Morphin. And um, and then a week after that, I had the producer call. And then a week after that, I got I got the call saying that I was Black Ranger. So a little, little little bit longer than Russell's process there, but uh, exciting nonetheless. Okay, mine was similar to Kai's. Um, I got my first um, audition in March, but my situation was I was in school. I had just got back home uh, with my mom or whatever because I have to go back and pack up all of my stuff because they canceled school immediately. The second week in March, they they canceled school. So I was in the process. When I got the audition, I was in the process of moving back. And I finally sat down and, and got my first audition with Rangers. And then I didn't hear back to like July, June for my second call back. And then it was Zooms and everything could just happen in the floor of like uh, two weeks to one week. So uh, everything was flowing and Got that final call back like Kai, and I was, I got that call saying I had booked the role, and I was speechless. I, I didn't believe it. So I actually, I usually don't wear my hair like this, but I decided to do it like Ollie. So this is how he is, very clean cut, side comb. <laughs> That's one aspect, the physical aspect is, is he's very uh, clean cut. Uh, side comb, very padded down, uh, really into uh, tech, kind of like a techie nerd and really likes all gadgets and things like that. So that's his physical side. His personality wise is he's very intelligent, very smart, very ahead of the game, probably very smart for his age, but he's not considerate of other of the people around him who aren't as quick as him. He puts things together really quickly and he can be a little mean about it at first. And so his uh, development throughout these episodes is him learning how to control that, not be so mean, relax, calm down, and work as a team. I think he's so used to working just with himself and his science mom, or everyone's really quick. And so he, he's learning to be an asset to the team and not be someone that's just bossing everyone around or insulting people for not getting it. <laughs> we got a little episode in there where he's a little mean to gold yeah. and he but yeah, he's he's different. He's from a different planet, so um, that speak for itself. So him coming into Earth and and meeting these humans, um, it, he can you can really see that um, you, he sets himself apart from um, everyone else. So Ion's different, man. He's outgoing, loving, hard headed. <laughs> uh, he he does what he want to do. So um, and also he might be the oldest ranger 
but mindset wise and earth wise, he is the youngest Ranger. I feel like uh, I know Tess is still in high school, but mindset wise, Ion's the youngest. <laughs> His decision making is horrible, but I love it. I love it. Um, I can connect. I it's so fun playing Ion. You can just um, it's people in real life that that actually acts like Ion, and for them to learn off of him and. In season two, first part of season two, Ion is learning to take things a little bit more serious after the episode where the little, the joke, she took over the live stream or whatever, and I seen a serious moment for Ion. So Ion's growing as well, and I can't wait to hear what he brings in, in part two of season uh, two. Oh, there's a lot of things that I like. I think, I think Javi is, um, he's very honest, and he, he rises to the occasion. Like, he's not, like, the most... I don't know, like like witty, I guess. Like if you were to compare him to the Blue Ranger, like uh, he's like not that level of intelligence, but he definitely has a lot of courage and, um, you know, rises to those occasions. And also I love that he's a musician because I am also a musician. And so being able to put that aspect of myself into the character uh, brought that aspect of realism for me uh, and being able to ground myself in him a little bit more. The Red Ranger was my favorite growing up. So that alone is super surreal and so cool and red's my favorite color believe it or not people think i'm i'm lying and i have to say that or something but red's <laughs> been my favorite color since i was a little kid so those two things alone are really amazing but zato as a character i joke all the time that i want to be like zato when i grow up he's a great leader he's so compassionate he really just does his best to be diplomatic but also strong and um only uses force when it's absolutely necessary and he can read minds like that's pretty cool too. So <laughs> I um I there's so much to love about Zato and playing him.